Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. The topic of this video, I don't want to press twice a week. It's too hard. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right. Sometimes when you receive a question, when I receive a question via DM on Instagram or on YouTube, I have to kind of phrase things the right way because I don't want to piss anybody off, but I have to be honest. I'm going to show you guys something. I'm going to show you guys a DM I received this morning, and I want to comb through my response a little bit. This has to do with vertical pressing. Now, the individual came to me and was asking about overhead pressing, and I believe I mentioned that I recommend doing a dumbbell press variation and a barbell vertical press variation during the course of a week. I don't really care what, what barbell variation you use, pin press, uh, military press, push press, don't really care. Dumbbell, seated dumbbell, or seated dumbbell overhead, is. I'm a big fan of that movement. You could also do a single arm overhead or you could do the Arnold press. I really don't care. But I think any lifter that is serious about shoulder development, about shoulder girdle balance and health, and about getting as big and as strong as humanly possible, needs to do two presses each week, two vertical presses. Now, the individual said, yes, I agree, but a vertical press movement with two different exercises within a week would be too much for me. Okay, would be too much for me. If I do exercises like barbell bench press and dips additionally in the same week, that I'd be saying it's just too hard. So my response is why? Why is it too much for you? And this is th this this video, the topic of this video uh, goes far beyond just the topic of vertical pressing. Okay, it goes, it's a mindset. This is a mindset video. Why is something too hard for you, okay? So I'm gonna come through the rest of this. We're gonna talk about it a little bit. It's not too much, why is it too much for you? It's not too much for anyone I coach. I'm not being argumentative, simply wondering why you feel it's too much, why? Work capacity is critical for muscle building. If it's too much, maybe you should be doing it. Okay. Let me stress that. If you feel it's too much, maybe you should be doing it. Now, we're not trying to punish you or beat you up or have you do any circus acts or get you injured or anything like that. We're talking about reasonable training here. If reasonable training or reasonable training advice feels like too much for you, you probably should be doing it. What you're trying to do here is basically avoid what is reasonable or what is required to build as much muscle and strength as possible. You can't find a fast way around the mountain. You have to go over the mountain. When someone comes to me and says it's too much, obviously I have to comb through the why. Do you have an injury, right? Do you have a time restriction? Or is it just hard and you don't want to do it because I have to do all this other stuff? Now, Look at what he's saying. He wants to do bench and he wants to do dips. He wants to do the hard chest stuff, right? Because that's his priority. This is really kind of the bro cancer, right? I really like doing bench and I really like doing dips and that's not too hard. But if I add in all this other stuff, it becomes too hard, right? So that's a very telling response on his part. If you can do a bench, if you can do a dumbbell bench, if you can do dips, if you can do close grip all in the same week, four big hitting pressing exercises, more horizontal pressing exercises, there's no reason why you can't add in two vertical pressing exercises. You have no issues with the work capacity. This is generally just a lack of caring, a lack of motivation for shoulder training, or it just feels hard after you do all the hard stuff for chest. And quite frankly, I'm not being, uh, you know, I'm not trying to be an asshole here, but I don't care. If you want to get to the land that is muscle and strength, if you want to have as much muscle and strength as possible, 
you have to take the steps necessary to get there. I'm not going to tell you you have to do this, right? But understand if you don't, if you want to, if you want to avoid, you know, overhead pressing, if you want to avoid your shoulders, that's on you. But that's not that's not what the massive iron way is about. That's not what I am about. We are about building as much muscle and strength as humanly possible, and we have to do what is right. We have to put everything in place to get there. We can't just pick and choose what we don't want to do because it feels hard. Quite frankly, I could give a f about anyone's feelings. Feelings have no place in training. We have proper training. We have to do what is right and f your feelings. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.